Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be my girlfriend rubs her male orbiter in my face. Well, that's definitely not something you want to put up with. So I got an email here from a guy. He says his long-term girlfriend, I don't know how long he's been with her. I assume probably for a few years. She's apparently got a male orbiter, a guy that obviously likes her and she was entertaining dating him romantically and so all this guy can do is go off of what she's told him but recently she's talking about this guy more she hadn't heard from him in a while and apparently before when she and this other male orbiter were both single they used to spend a lot of time together and so he's the guy that writes the email says that he's told her that he did not because she's going out in the evening occasionally not all the time but occasionally she goes and has dinner with this guy and has wine with him because they're both wine enthusiasts if you will and then when he's he talks about her and ex expresses his dismay if you will she calls him insecure and then she kind of threatens him in a roundabout way that if she left him or they broke up he would be sad and lonely like all of her ex-boyfriends so you could tell from that comment alone, I mean, I'll obviously read through exactly what she said, but you can tell she feels like she's got all the power in the relationship. She feels like it's like she's kind of got the attitude like she's doing this guy a favor by being his girlfriend. So this is just this is the kind of stuff that when you're in a long term relationship, it's the number one most important thing to men in a relationship is loyalty. The number one most important thing that women find attractive in men is confidence. And us guys, we want to know that our girl's loyal, especially if we're going to be involved and have children with her. We want to make sure she's going to be loyal to us and not wondering if she's out sleeping with somebody like this, a male orbiter or some guy you don't even know about. And so what things to look for, what signs to look for? Because part of dating, especially if you're one of those guys that wants to get married – and have a family you got to make sure in the vetting process that you vet your girl to the best of your ability because you can vet her to the best of your ability and she still may cheat on you if she's a disloyal person i mean these things are going to happen nobody's perfect you're not going to get a hundred percent confirmation but you can be relatively assured especially from her behavior because I discuss this in the chapter it's all in the numbers because there are certain things that women do when they're in love there are certain things they do when their interest, their attraction to you is a 9 or a 10. And there are things that they don't do when their interest is a 6 or a 7 that they do when it's a 9 or a 10. And so based upon their actions and the things they're saying to you, you can get an accurate reflection of how deeply in love and how much she cares for you. So you can always tell where you stand Without ever having to ask, it comes out in the words and the things she says. Women do this naturally. And it doesn't matter where in the planet they are or what their cultural background or their religious background is. They all say the same things. I got clients literally on every continent, every every country that follow me and have learned from me. And it's like I see it in their emails. I listen to it in the phone sessions with them. It's It's amazing to me that women all over the world say the same things and they do the same things when they feel... A certain level of attraction or lack thereof so let's go through this guy's email he says hi coach is it a red flag if my long-term girlfriend re retains contact and occasionally goes out for a drink with her male friend well women who are very loyal and family oriented and came from a good family are not going to go out with a guy that's single or a guy that they used to date one-on-one -on -one and have drinks in the evening or go to dinner together without their boyfriend, their significant other, or several mutual friends there. They just simply don't do it for several reasons. Number one, it looks bad. What if she's out? If your girlfriend or your wife is out with some guy and your best friend sees her, she's like, I saw her and she's hanging out with some dude and they seem to really be in their conversation maybe they were holding hands or maybe she was touching him and she seemed really close to him those are not the kind of phone calls that you want to get from your friends and so women that are loyal and honest would never want to do that they won't even want to insinuate that anything is going on because they wouldn't want to lose their man and the other thing that you gotta you gotta keep in mind is that how men are 
It's like God, any dude that's had a girl or has been on dates with girls has had other guys come up and start hitting on your girl when you're there. It's going to happen. And it's like, especially when they've been drinking. And us guys know that if a woman is out and you're, you're say it's your girl and she's hot and she's beautiful, she's going to get attention from other men. And if she's going out with a guy she used to date and hang out with him one-on-one, us guys know that there is a pretty good chance, almost 100% chance, maybe 99% chance that dude is not going to respect the fact that she's in a relationship. He doesn't care. He wants to plow her strawberry fields. That's, that's the bottom line. And so a lady, a woman who's loyal, monogamous, and doesn't want her man to think anything unusual is going on doesn't even want anything to be insinuated it's just not going to put herself in those situations because she knows how guys are and she doesn't want anything that's going to look bad to her or her family or her reputation it's just ladies don't do these things chicks that belong to the streets do these things so with the, and it's the same thing with guys guy if you're in a relationship you're not going to go out with the hot secretary who's crushing on you and and have drinks and go clubbing with her while your wife is taking care of your kids or your girlfriend's home waiting for you to come home you're just not going to do those things because you don't want her to think that you're disloyal and you you want to treat her the same way you would want her to treat you that's what good honest people do liars and cheaters don't care they do it anyways and they make excuses for it so he says a little background about this guy. I can tell you only what she has told me about him under the condition that she's being honest, of course. So yeah, we're assuming that she's being honest. But more than likely, she's probably left out some details just because she doesn't want it to look bad. They spent that much time together and they did kiss at one point. It was just the one time. They met thanks to some stupid Instagram discussion and continued to text but remained only friends after they met each other because he is very needy, tends to lock girls down to a commitment, etc. So he was needy and clingy. Obviously, he wanted her, wanted to date her, and she was not giving it up to him, we assume, because he was too much of a beta male. But at the end of the day, the beta male is going to keep trying. He doesn't respect the fact that she's in a relationship or has a boyfriend. He doesn't care. Because he's seen too many movies and the movies convinced him that if it's meant to be, it'll be. Maybe they're soulmates. They're supposed to live happily ever after, especially if her boyfriend or husband doesn't treat her the way he thinks she should be treated. He wants to show her what a good dude he is. So she leaves the bad relationship and lives happily ever after and, and relationship bliss. That's what the movies show us. <clears throat> He says, they spent a lot of time together before when they were both single, only two of them. She went to his place. He went to her place. They all also went to parties together and they really enjoy drinking wine together as they're both wine lovers. They kissed at a party, which happened someplace for New Year's Eve. He says, I'm not sure what year that was. I didn't ask. So they've kissed. There's obviously romantic interest, at least on his part and obviously on her part because as we get a little further into this she'll you could tell she cares about this guy on some level it's not just some friend her actions and her words give away that he's more than just a friend he says i don't know how they communicate since i don't really see her texting or calling him when we spend time together but i must admit that i snapped when she started mentioning him and how she wonders what's going on with her friend since she didn't hear from him for a while. So she decided to call him. After a while, she told me that she's going to meet him and here is what hurt me. So here's the other thing to keep in mind, and I discuss this in my book. It's that when women start telling you about guys, oh, he's just a friend, you don't have to worry about him, and she talks about other dudes, and oh, I like the way he was dressed, or he looks so handsome, he was wearing this really nice shirt. When she's saying things like that, that's basically her way of saying, hey, here's your replacement. If you don't get your act together, this is the guy that's going to replace you. That's like their little warning. They're, they're, that's how they tell you and reveal, hey, there's another guy potentially waiting in the wings. If you don't get your act together, I may just monkey branch down. That's what she's telling you. Because therefore, if it just happened, oh, it just happened. He ended up inside me. She could be like, hey, well, I did tell him about this other guy and he didn't change his behavior. So 
then she can absolve herself from any personal responsibility for it. It just happened. Oops, he just slipped and his penis ended up inside me. Oops. He says, she did this despite me being obviously unimpressed with her initiating contact with him. So in her mind, she didn't see anything wrong with it. She knew you didn't like it, but she did it anyway. So what does that tell me? She doesn't respect you. Maybe she was hoping you would stand up to her, or maybe she really is a ratchet and belongs to the streets. We don't know enough yet. He says, they went out during the night, and they went to a wine bar. Why not? If it's just platonic, why not just go to lunch and have some wine? Why does it have to be in the evening like a date? And you could just simply say, how would you like it if I went out with a girl I used to sleep with and just had some wine with her in the evening and went clubbing with her? Would you like that? Especially when, you know, this girl wants to get back together with me. Would you like that? Obviously, she wouldn't like that at all. But her, she wants a double standard and she wants him to put up with it. He says she keeps talking about him and she even told me he gave her compliments about her clothes, business achievements, new hair color, etc. Feminine energy grows through praise. So she likes the fact that he's praising her. So it could also be a subtle hit that she's telling you, you don't praise her enough. But at the end of the day, this is a dude that obviously wants to get in her pants that's praising her and she likes it. And so she's getting attention and validation from a man who is not her boyfriend, who is not her lover, but obviously wants to be her lover. And the fact that she's going and hanging out with him in the evenings and expects you just to sit there and take it like, sure, this is fine. That's just, it shows a lack of respect on her part towards you. He says, when I complain about her seeing and contacting him, she accuses me of being insecure and needy and even gave me a subtle ultimatum that I am going to miss her if I end up alone, just like all her exes. That's when you got to say, honey, I love you, but let me explain something to you, how, how us guys work. So the number one most important thing to us men in a relationship is loyalty. And if we're going to stay together, if you're going to have the privilege of me being continuing to agree to be your boyfriend, I expect loyalty. And so when you talk about going out and hang out with a guy that you used to date and a guy who obviously is still romantically interested in you, and quite frankly, on some level, you have some kind of interest in him because you talk about him in such glowing terms as somebody that you like and admire. And so when you go out in the evening, I mean, how, what would you think if you're out in the evening having wine with this guy and laughing and giggling and then my parents walk in the restaurant and we supposedly live together and we have this strong relationship and then here my parents or my sister or my brother or my best friend see you at a table being very flirtatious and playing with your hair and laughing and touching his arm like you're like almost like it's a date and I'm nowhere to be found how would that look my parents would not be they would look at you differently my brother would look at you differently. My sisters would look at you differently. My coworkers, my friends would look at you differently and they would look at us. They'd look at me and think I'm some kind of chump or an idiot that's got a disloyal girlfriend. A loyal girlfriend's never going to put herself in that situation. And even if she's a trustworthy girl, she's just not going to do it because men don't care. Most men don't care. If they want to plow the strawberry fields, they're going to do it. They're going to they don't care. Mar being married, it's like having a boyfriend, they don't care. Having kids, they don't care. They just want to get to the promised land. And so if a woman is putting herself in a situation, a date-like, a romantic situation like this, on some level, she's open to it progressing further. Doesn't matter what you say. The bottom line is you're putting yourself in that position. I would not be going to dinner in the evening with a cute single girl that likes me and expect you to just be totally cool with that if we're an exclusive monogamous relationship. That's just a fact of life. And so what this is telling me is that we have a value conflict here. I would never do this. You don't see a problem with it. And if you don't see a problem with it, then I question your ability to be loyal long term. And if you're incapable of being loyal long term, then you don't qualify to be my girlfriend or my future wife ever. It's out of the question. So your behavior is jeopardizing the future of the relationship. So if there's ever a time when you and I are not together, it's going to be, be and you continue this behavior, it's because you messed it up. So you're going to be the one home crying because you lost a good loyal man. And if your loyalty is in question and you're not capable of it, that's it. There's no second chances for that. You cheat once, you'll do it again. 
So, and I don't appreciate you rubbing this guy in my face and talking about him in a gushing way all the time. I'm not going to come home and talk about other women like that to your face and expect you to sit there and like it. So why is it you think it's okay for you to treat me this way? That shows that you don't value me, you don't love me, you don't respect me, you don't respect our relationship, and it calls into question your ability to be loyal. And if you're not capable of being loyal, then we have a value conflict and we don't belong together. And if you ever are disloyal to me, it would be the end of it. And I won't, I'll, I'll be sad that it's over, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be glad that I found out before we got too far down the road, we got married, we had kids or a family together. Because I don't want to be with some chick and i got to wonder if half the kids are even mine or not. And that's, women behave this way, that's, that's the way they are. I, my life's a drama-free zone and I don't want to deal with it. And I don't want, if you want to stay with me and you want to stay my girlfriend, you're never going to put me in a position again where you're going out and having romantic dinners or wine tastings with men that want to get in your pants. You're never going to do that again. And if you think it's okay, it's not okay. I'm telling you it's not okay. I'm not going to be your boyfriend anymore if you want to continue this behavior. It's as simple as that. So in a roundabout way, this is a, that's how I would phrase it with her. Obviously, with maybe a little less, but it's like loyalty is the number one most important thing to us guys. And this one is just basically going, hey, here's your loyalty. This is what I think of our relationship. But maybe you've displayed weakness and she thinks you're a chump and she's testing your strength to see if you'll let her get away with it and see if you'll stand up to her. Because I promise you, if you stand up to her, she will respect you more. doesn't mean you get angry and pissed off and screaming and yelling at each other. You don't want to escalate to that point. But you gotta, you got to let her know matter-of-factly where you're coming from and what she's doing is jeopardizing your willingness to remain her boyfriend. She's literally jeopardizing your relationship from ending forever because you you don't give women like this a second chance. They cheat, they're done. You want loyalty and monogamy, you don't hang out with a cheater. Cheaters, women, those are just chicks that you hook up with, friends of benefits, don't want to drop the F-bomb because they don't want to get demonetized on Facebook. <clears throat> it's a real pain in the butt. He says, what really confuses me is that she keeps doing all the things from your book which indicate a high level of interest but still acts like this which is definitely not indicative of a high level of interest. What's indicative of is disloyalty and the fact that she may belong to the streets and she's not capable or worthy of your love and commitment long term. This is part of the vetting process. Can I trust this girl? Is she is she a ride or die or is she just looking to monkey branch to a next guy or cheat and get away with it and stay in the relationship? Because women, some women are like that. So you got to know what you're dealing with and this is not a good sign. It's not a good sign at all. He says, she is of the opinion that their history is meaningless. No, it's not. Current events form future trends, as Gerald Salenti says. And at the end of the day, any guy that would be okay with a woman going and hanging out one-on-one -on -one in the evening, having drinks and dinner with a guy that she used to date and sleep with, it's not going to be cool with it. It's just, that's just not acceptable. And so that is not meaningless. And the fact that she keeps mentioning him and bringing him up communicates that she cares for this guy on some level more than just a friendship. And so it's like, why would I want to stay in a relationship with a girlfriend that's telling me how much she likes some other man? It's like, what, why, why am I committed to you again? What, what, are you, what are you bringing to the table for me? What do I get out of staying committed to you when you behave disloyal like this? He says, and there was never anything romantic between them. They kissed. They hung out a lot. She likes him. She's open to the possibility of romance, and that's why she keeps hanging out with him. It doesn't matter what she says. If she values loyalty and doesn't want to do anything to jeopardize your relationship, she ain't going to do this. And if she does hang out with the guy, you're going to be there or her girlfriends are going to be there that you know. She just won't do it. She won't put herself in a position where she's alone with this guy. Ladies don't behave this way. Wives don't behave this way. Just chicks that belong to the streets do. And any girl that tries to tell you differently is gaslighting you or is an idiot. Or just incredibly naive. She does have a couple of male acquaintance, acquaintances, but I must admit that she has almost no contact with them since she spends most of her time with me. Could you please share your opinion on this? I really don't like to sleep with my eyes open. Should I call her out and say that out of respect for me, she should minimize or cease contact with this guy? Yes, but if she's going to spend time with him, she, she shouldn't be there one-on-one. -on -one. She should want you to meet this guy if he's just a friend to know what a good dude he is, right? 
But if she doesn't introduce you to him, doesn't want you around when she's with this guy, that is, that's pretty much a deal breaker right there. She wants to spend time with a man who is not her boyfriend and she doesn't want her boyfriend to, to be around this guy? I don't think so. That's not how this works. You want my commitment to you and only you? Then that's just out of the question. Because if you want, that's like saying, hey, well, I want a potential open relationship. Or should I let things go and if I notice they are spending more time together, just dump her? It's like, oh, I would have the conversation that I just went through a couple, you know, a few minutes ago earlier in the video. That's a conversation you must have with her. You, you can't just let this slide. This is not something you just sweep under the rug and hope it goes away. He says, I'm still with her because there are a lot of things that I really like about her. And sometimes I think maybe I'm overreacting and may chase her out of liking me due to this behavior. Am I the one being needy here? Or am I just standing up for myself and not letting myself be being jerked around? Well, it's like you have a major question mark with your girlfriend right now on whether or not she's capable of loyalty. I'm sure the guys in the comments going to be, oh, dump her, just blow her off, ditch her, send her back to the streets. But at the end of the day, if she loves you, if she is submissive and she's loyal, she will understand your point of view and where you're coming from and she will respect it and she'll never do it again. And if she says she won't do it again and then she does do it again or she wants to continue the same behavior, then that just tells me she wants to keep it open to hanging out with him. And who knows? Maybe there'll be another guy that'll come along. Oh, he's just a friend from work. He's got a girlfriend. There's nothing there. We're just we're just friends. We just hang out and go to go to dinner and drinks all the time. There's no, no hanky pankies happening. If a woman is ha in a relationship is hanging out one on one with a dude who's single, or even if the guy is married, it's he's not there because he wants to play patty cake with her. He's there because he wants to play hide the salami with your girl. Deep down, that's what he's hoping for. And if, some women are completely naive. We had this conversation. We did a bunch of podcasts with, with Jade because th that was an issue with them. It was causing friction in her relationship. And she was just like, oh, I didn't think it was a big deal. We're just friends. She was like, I'm not going to cheat on my boyfriend. But it's like, doesn't matter. The guy she was hanging out with wants to get in her pants. That's why. Us guys know how uh, other dudes are. And so it's naive and it's inappropriate. And a lady is not going to do that. A tramp, she's going to do that. And if you got a tramp, then you can send her on down the road because she definitely belongs in the streets. He says, also note, so here's another interesting thing about liars and cheaters. Remember, no one will ever do or say anything to you that isn't a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves in a moment. Liars and cheaters and devious people are always accusing you of doing things you shouldn't have been doing. He says, also a note, whenever she sees any woman liking my LinkedIn post, she immediately starts asking about her background, who is she, et cetera, et cetera. Sounds like a little bit of projection there. But obviously she doesn't like it. And you can use that. You can say, you get upset when a, a random girl you don't know likes my LinkedIn post. And so if you're getting upset at that, but you want me to be cool with you going out on dates with, it's not a date. It's like, it's a date. If you're going out in the evening and having wine and dinner with a man who's not your boyfriend you're on a, you're on a date the only difference is you haven't slept with them at least to my knowledge so like i said there's a big question mark here so you need to have an unpleasant but necessary conversation with your girlfriend maybe ideally right after you have sex the next time that'd be the best time to have this conversation but you need to let her know how things are and they're going to be if she wants to keep you as her boyfriend because that kind of behavior, it's not appropriate. And the fact that she's rubbing it in your face like that and expecting you just to put up with it, it's like she's testing to see whether or not your balls have dropped. And that's why you just say it's not appropriate. It's not going to work. You keep doing it, we're just not going to be together anymore. So if you, you want to be single again, hey, that's the quickest way to get there. That's the quickest way to get there. So if you got a question or a challenge and you'd like to get my help, go to understandingrelationships.com, click the products tab at the top of your screen, and book a coaching session with yours truly. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.